Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, and I am finally doing what I have promised for months now. I am finally getting around to doing the mini series on Let's Run an Outdoor Pro Shop. So, yeah, it is basically a spiritual successor to the Let's Run a Photography Studio mini series uh, I did a while back. And uh, there's uh, something, uh, something I'm experimenting with right now because I want to help uh, get my uh, more story uh, storytelling aspects of my Let's Plays across in uh, better ways. And I came up with this idea of using cutscenes where uh, like if you're playing an action game like Tomb Raider for example, you do some stuff and then sort of like cinematic scene uh, plays out where you don't control anything but you just see like a story pan out. I'm gonna do something quite like that uh, in the middle of my uh, Let's Plays and yeah, I'm gonna have uh, both like conversations between my sims that have dialogue boxes, almost like something out of an RPG. It's it's basically like what you saw in my Pirates Create a Sim video and at the end of my uh, Claire Charming uh, Create a Sim video. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to test the waters with this mini series, even though this one's not that story oriented. I just thought, hey, it's well, it's something to experiment with before uh, my uh, Heartbreakers Let's Play with. Uh, Get Together Stars, the Heartbreakers Club, which I uh, just revealed recently. I'm pretty stoked for that. And yeah, if you're wondering, uh, this house is called a New Crest Contemporary One by Isla Rose uh, XIV. And the outdoor pro shop, which we'll get to, is um, by uh, Drew True Builder. It's just called the outdoor pro shop. And I'll also have like little establishing shots uh, when we go to like a location for the first time. And maybe more uh, times uh, after that. I'm still trying to figure that out. But yeah, th that sort of cutscene is almost like something you'd see in a documentary. And now to get to the story uh, of this family, I do have a little bit of backstory to read off here. So uh, our main character here is uh, Raylan, or uh, Ray for short. And uh, here's the, the little story behind uh, the Gray family. Uh, so over here is her husband, Darian. And uh, he's, uh, he's starting to see some real success as a doctor because uh, this family moved to Newcrest fairly recently so that he could accept a job offer as assistant nurse at the Lama Memorial Hospital in Willow Creek. And uh, Ray, however, she wants to be something more than just a housewife. She wants to find some of her own success uh, in life as well. But she is struggling to find a job that she actually likes. And uh, when she toured the Willow Creek City Hall, she met uh, Benny Aravello, who uh, you may remember as the uh, owner of the Point and Shoot Photography Studio uh, from my previous series. And he was the one to suggest to her to start running a business. And uh, while she was at City Hall, she saw some ads for Granite Falls on the TVs, and knowing how much tourism Granite Falls has been getting, she decided to buy a store in Newcrest Business District to outfit as an outdoor pro shop. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's like all the stuff that's kind of leading into this. So yeah, I did want to like have a little bit of that to tie into the rest of my Sim Universe, my Let's Plays. This does take place after the end of my Spot A miniseries, although this is going to be largely its own thing, so I don't think there's going to be too much tie-in. I mean, we'll pr definitely, almost definitely see cameos from uh, Sims from other Let's Plays uh, just appearing as customers, but other than that, it's like, it's it's not too important to know, but just for, just for reference, in case you do want to still watch everything uh, in chronological order in my Sim universe, of course, as always, I'll have a card to my Sim Universe playlist, so you can more easily see everything in the uh, in that order. So, all right, with all that talk out of the way, I guess we'll just uh, we'll just get things started. And uh, yeah, I, think, I guess we'll just go right over to the outdoor pro shop. The kids are at school right now, so maybe I'll talk more about them later. But there isn't really too much to talk about with them since. The focus is primarily going to be on Ray, and this is going to be a very short mini series. It's going to be like, I don't know, like three parts maybe. It's not going to be as long as the photography studio one, but I mainly just wanted to like show off uh, an, another interesting sort of retail business that you can run uh, with 
uh, get to work and uh, outdoor retreat as well in this case since this one kind of integrates the two together. So here's the outdoor pro shop right over here. We actually did uh, visit it briefly in the Spa Day miniseries so if you watch that series you already have a good idea as to what it looks like. It was kind of unfortunate that uh, Ray didn't actually appear in that episode because she had already uh, bought the store by then and furnished it and all that stuff. Yeah, it's a good thing that uh, Darian's made a lot of uh, money in the doctor career because that's how, uh, that's how they were able to pool all that money together to run a business because, yeah, running a business is expensive. All right, here we are at the outdoor pro shop by Drew True Builder, and I gotta say, like once again, this is like such a creative store. It's really awesome looking. I, I just love it. I just knew when I saw it, I had to like do a mini series of uh, just running this place. Uh, so yeah, everything is like uh, already set for sale and all that stuff, as you have already seen if you watch the mini series. And let me just check if. Um, I locked the door. Yeah, it looks like I, yeah, I did lock the door for, oh, hmm, that's weird. Unlock door. Um, hmm. Yeah, lock door for everyone but employees. Because that's what I meant to have it as before. And I'm pretty sure I did go into this lot very briefly just to do that, but yeah. <laughs> the first thing she does is play Blick Block Tap. Nah, first we gotta uh, hire some employees and then we will uh, open the store. And then in uh, the second episode, we'll probably just change some things around, like in between the first and second episodes, because like now uh, Perfect Patio st uh, stuff and some other packs have come out since uh, this lot uh, was uploaded to the gallery by Drew True Builder. So I definitely would want to have some hot tubs here on the second floor if I can fit them. Um. Oh, okay. So I guess the sim I already hired is still like hired because, like, with um, Lucy uh, in my get to work let's play, like, whenever I run her clothing store, I have to hire a new employee every single time. It's, it's so weird. It's like, I, I don't know. It, it doesn't make much sense. But uh, yeah, well, I guess, I guess he likes working here, so that's good. Uh, all right. So then I guess we can just uh, open the store. Yeah, it is fall right now, so even if this is kind of like near the end of the peak of the sort of outdoor tourism season, I thought, yeah, there's still a little bit of time to do this, and I really wanted to do this mini-series before uh, Get Together came out anyways. Alright, customers are on their way to per use Ray's merchandise. Hopefully our employee actually shows up this time, because I was playing as Lucy off-camera the other day, and when I was using her clothing store, then yeah, it's a hire a new sim. Oh, I think that's him over here. Um, and her employee did not show up, so I had, to, I had to fire her on her first day, and then she got angry, and it's like, well, you didn't show up for work. Uh, yeah, that's him. All right. <laughs> he just wanted to get pumped before work. Yeah. Um, all right, so I'm, a, I'm just thinking that the first cutscene we'll probably have is just uh, an exchange with their customer. Uh, we'll just see who it ends up being. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's already trying out the polar bear costume. I saw that. <laughs> All right, so we're back now, and uh, yeah. That was unexpected, that cameo from Angelo, he's, he seemed pretty into uh, <laughs> trying on that polar bear costume. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. He's he's getting pretty receptive to the sales pitch. Oh wait, hold on, we also got to um, also gotta give our employee his, uh, his job, like what tasks to do. Where did he go though? I don't know. Oh wow, there's already some sims who bought some of the chairs. That's pretty fantastic. And one of the tents as well. Um... Oh, boy. 
Dang it, where did he go? Man, I wish it was easier to just, like, track down Sims. Like, uh, just, like, to, um... If you could just right-click onto Sim and be like, Oh, well, there, there he is. Because I think we could do that in The Sims 3, but... I don't know. Oh, there he is! All right. Ah, uh, manage Frederico. Um... Wait, where's the... Uh, be ready for slacking. Good, he's not slacking at all. Uh, wait a minute. Why can't I give him a job? Uh, wait, no, not magic plays. What? This is weird. Uh, I'm so confused. Like, I'm sure there was like, oh, assign work task. It's its own bubble thing. Wow, it's been a long time since I've done this specific thing. Uh, let's. Put him to. Doesn't really need to clean the store. Let's restock sold items because yeah, there's already some stuff that needs to be restocked. Okay. Yeah, maybe let's have a little conversation with uh, Angelo here. Let's greet the customer. Okay, so let's see here. <laughs> this picture is really cute with uh, with the bear. I think it might. Can I add a frame to it? Yeah, I think it might look a little bit nicer. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> There's another another sim over here. I guess that's one of Drew True Builder's sims that he photographed there. Oh, Aiden and uh, Anya are back from school. Yeah, I have to turn off the um, uh, headline effects, like the plumb bobs and stuff, when I was filming the cutscene earlier. Oh, somebody is ready to be rung up, so I guess I'll be another another cutscene to do right here. Oh, wait, we have to wait for it to actually stop moving <laughs> before we can do this. Alright. Oh, wait, no, it's her. Okay. Yeah, this whole cutscene thing is gonna be very interesting, like to see how this all pans out. I hope I hope you all will enjoy the end product of this. Cause uh yeah, I really would uh I really would like to get my storytelling aspects across a little bit better and I I don't think I've really seen anybody else do it this way before, so yeah, it's just gonna be something I'm gonna just uh figure out like all on my own, which should be pretty cool actually. Just something that I'm figuring out myself. Whoa. I just wanted to pull up the walls here. Alright, let's uh let's ring up the sim. <laughs> Ah, all right. There you go. She bought uh, she bought one of those air beds, so that's cool. It's probably gonna take that on a camping trip or something. Well, at least we're hoping it'll be a camping trip. But I don't. Well, I mean, she can use an air bed as an extra bed if she wants to. I mean, The Sims is a flexible game, and life is a flexible thing. So, yeah, she can just use the air bed as a, in a guest room as well. Oh, I see some familiar Sims off in the distance there. <laughs> Uh, for my uh, Spa Day mini series, not really, yeah, because Alexis wasn't really a main character, but she was kind of like there at that apartment as one of the landlords. Yeah, this is another like employee room right here, just kind of like a manager's room. So I think with this one, I actually did set it that only uh, Ray can uh, <clears throat> can go in here. Yeah, you know, there's like some guitars you can buy. Like, yeah, there's just like so many different things you can buy. It's pretty awesome, and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, like once we get more worlds, like, uh, yeah, hopefully there'll be some empty lots in Windenburg because I would like to place even more uh, retail stores so that you um, can have more of an integrated economy. Okay, I think, is he doing his job? Well, he's not slacking, so let's just give him a little bit of praise just to, like, 
encourage him for like doing a good job. Maybe in part two we'll promote him if he sticks around. Oh, she has to she has to use the washroom soon. <laughs> Oh, or at least, yeah, that's a, yeah. Oh, God, click on that toilet paper. Ooh, Angelo. He's gonna... You know what? Maybe, uh... Maybe I'll just, uh, ring him up, and then we'll... And then we'll, uh, take care of her needs. Okay. Let's wait for him to stop moving. I guess I can just have her go up here. Oh, wow, this sim was, like, being mean to her. That would have been funny if I had caught that for like a cutscene, but oh well. Okay, let's ring up customer. So that's good, we already have a little bit of uh, intertwining with some cameos from uh, Sims from other Let's Plays. Um. Oh, I didn't realize. I th I thought there was a washroom in this lot, but huh? <laughs> I guess there isn't. Oh, hmm. Maybe that's something I'm gonna have to add in between this first episode and the second. I mean, I guess like yeah, with running a retail store, it's not like we're usually gonna be here for like days on end. Anyways, it's just gonna be like eight to twelve hour shifts or so. I think I'll end this uh, episode off here anyways because uh, yeah I think you pretty much get like uh, the opening gist of it and I just wanted to like experiment with uh, the cutscenes for this uh, first part. That's kind of the bulk of the uh, recording of this anyways. Uh, oh cool! You reached uh, maintenance skill level 3. Oh I'll, so we gotta like... Uh... Wait can I bring this up? Uh... Let's uh, praise him real quick as we end off this episode, since I don't think we did that before. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, first part of this mini series. Definitely gonna enjoy uh, running this uh, store a little bit more in depth, since we kind of just grazed the surface, and uh, also customizing uh, the store a little bit more so that's more of my own. And okay. That all right? Wow, she really needs to uh, go to the washroom. Um, I'll maybe do a, a little check up as well. And be sure to leave a like or a comment or even subscribe, whatever you feel like doing, because it lets me know that like my channel, my videos, and it helps you keep up to date with the latest uh, content for me. How uh, can I work on to get that next promotion? Hmm. I need to think a bit more about that. And uh, yeah, if you uh, subscribe, then you'll be more easily able to keep up with the latest content for me, including this uh, mini series, my uh, Heartbreakers Club Let's Play with Get Together, and uh, my other Sims content, such as uh, showcases of various types, from lots to custom content, as uh, well as uh, other games like Sonic the Hedgehog. So uh, yeah, I will talk to you later guys and have a great day. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the uh, little cutscenes.